Sunday. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, AKA Lily Works, and I am a full-time stay-at-home mom and a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, Etsy, and no longer Facebook Marketplace. And today I have my friend with me. She can wave or come in the screen. Oh, there she is. She is actually a, a Poshmark reseller. She got into it when she came to the bins one time and now she does a lot of really cute and trendy stuff. I am not cute and trendy, she is. <laughs> um, but today I have a surprise for her. I'm actually taking her to one of the newer places that I found. Um, and this is where I picked up stuff for the giveaway. So you guys already know if you've been watching my channel, this is the Amazon return store where everything is the same price. And today we're on a $6 day. If you don't know, $6 and then it goes down each dollar, buy a dollar each day. To Wednesday everything is a dollar so yesterday they put in the new items for eight dollars an item so we missed the new um, the new items that came out but hopefully we can find some good stuff I'm gonna be looking for stuff for giveaways if I'm going to be giving away on whatnot also um, stuff for resale I did sell a hat today that I found here and yeah, so this is going to be Christine's first time. She doesn't know what she's in for. <laughs> so let's go shopping. We're gonna see what we can find in the first bin here. What is this? Nothing. What is this? Electric oil mister. So this must be for um, olive oil or something. Let's see what we can find. Water filters, Zenotic eyewear. Christine yeah, found. <laughs> so, uh, if you guys don't know, my mom is really hippie. She. Oh, this is. I got this for the giveaway. This is one of the things I got for the giveaway the picnic blanket. Um, curious as to what this is right here. What does it say? I wonder if I can scan this. I'm still wanting one of those blow up hammock things. I have like this feeling that one day I'm gonna find it here. So we'll see what this is. I don't see any writing on here or anything. Here is Christine. She is a clothing reseller. So she is definitely <laughs> in the clothes area. Um, I really can't really find a whole lot of things. So what I've heard, I've had Christine over today um, to help me figure out whatnot because she's already done a show on whatnot with her clothes and she was helping me figure out giveaways and how to do listings and basically a lot of the ins and outs of reselling or selling on whatnot seems a little overwhelming to me. What is this? This is cute. It's like a little picnic basket type of thing. Um, so she was helping me and then I surprised her by coming here and then we're going to head to the deals for days which is the Amazon I'm sorry the what is this an egg carton oh, I love this I want to get this so today is six dollars I think I will buy this for six dollars for myself <laughs> um, yeah deals for days is the target return what is it I don't care if I have it. You can look at it. Copy mine. Oh my god. <gasps> that is so stinking cute. It has a little. Oh my goodness. And then you put the spoon in there. <laughs> Careful, honey. You ask. <laughs> Say, can I see it? They're like cute boxes. Yeah, so cute. Elise found a Buzz Lightyear and she's obsessed. Are you obsessed? Is he so cool? So Annalise got her buzz and she's gonna bring it right into the car. 
you want to get ice cream, we might get something. So Christine picked up some glass drawer liners. Mm -hmm. They're like gold framed. Let's see. She got a little slushy maker and I think she's going to use that for one of her giveaways. So go and follow her. I can put her um, channel up on the screen for you guys to follow. She does a lot of new with tags clothes. A lot of really cute trendy clothes like I said before. She got that really cute cup, tablet yeah. for her boyfriend, well tablet cover I should say. Um, she got some hangers for her business and a storage, um, under bed storage for her clothes or potentially Poshmark overflow. <laughs> and then is this all my stuff? Oh you got this. So. Look at this, you guys. This was still in like the package. This is called the Mantis Pod, which is awesome. Um, I looked it up and it was $147 on um, Amazon. So today we paid, she paid $6 for that. We're hoping it holds her phone so that she has, um, she can record a little bit better for her whatnot shows. And if she ever does any vlogging or anything like that, it's oh, great yeah. to hold. Uh, tripod put up anywhere type of thing so that was great we just hope it holds her phone and if it doesn't I will resell it uh -huh. all right got some canisters really cute um, like seafoam green for my house I use that for sugar and salt here's a giveaway item this is a painted glass wine glass so cute there's that one I'm gonna either give have this as a giveaway it's like a really huge bottle for like hiking or I'm thinking like the bins I might keep it or I might do a giveaway yeah, tell me what you guys think uh, this is like shelves I'm gonna use that for my storage area it is like a tension shelf uh, an egg basket so cute for the refrigerator and opens like a picnic basket Annalise picked this up to build with daddy um, this is another giveaway. It is a mulberry mask, which I think is awesome. It's probably like anti-aging and everything. This is for my husband. He is obsessed with the lawn. It's a digital lawn timer. Okay, I will help you in one second. Okay, cups. I uh, looked for the um, expiration date. I hope they're not expired. I could not find an expiration date. This game, you guys, I've heard really great things about this. This is called Mexican Train and Chicken Domino Set. I've heard really great things. We are actually already have this game, but uh, let me know if you guys have played this. I've heard that it is like one of the funnest games is very heavy. So that's probably not going to be a giveaway just because it's so heavy, but probably a future Christmas present. This is, um, you guys don't judge me, it says ages three plus. Pemberley is three and it is a child safety leash, you guys. <laughs> <That's pretty awesome>. <laughs> <laughs> she is um she she's fun. She's a handful and I'm just thinking like zoo day or something. I see kids with these and you know it do, it does seem a little um sad to have these on kids, but if it keeps them safe, I might use that for when we're out like at the zoo or something because she does try to climb over the gates she, you know teach her all the things but she still her brain tells her I'm gonna do this and then she does it all right and then this is the last thing which I thought was really interesting I'm either gonna sell it keep it or have it as a giveaway uh, one of those three but it is a healing and feeling bowl so it's called a singing bowl where you take this like um, mortar and pestle type of situation and you can use water in it and stuff and it's supposed to like make noises mm. so it's like a calming type meditation deal and I'm either going to use it during teaching time for when we are teaching mindfulness to the kids which is really huge nowadays to do mindfulness and be like in touch with yourself so that you're able to control your emotions as you're growing up and that also might be a good giveaway item so let me know what you guys are thinking um so yeah that was our haul we are going to store number two all right so we made it to deals for days and it looks like um let's see it looks like saturday which is the day we're here 
it's actually $10, which is pretty pricey if you ask me. There is a lot of new with tag stuff. We're going to see. I haven't been here on any of the other days except for the $1 day on Wednesday. So we're just going to take a peek. Might not buy anything, but if it's worth it for $10, maybe we'll pick it up. So let's go see what we can find. Okay, so we're at the back of the store. None of this stuff is worth $10. There's surface cleaning wipes for $10. Then there's the bins that go all the way to the front. <sighs> Let's see. There's probably gonna be a lot of things here that Annalise wants, but not stuff that I would spend more than like $2 on. Ooh, yep, exactly, that? exactly. Exactly, that? exactly my point. And I, you look on I bet you do. You can look at it, but we're not getting it. Look at this little vanity makeup area. I bet you do want to bring it home. But we're not getting that one. Okay, we have a nut glass nut drink making set, which is kind of cute. Not everyone drinks nut milk though. And it is kind of heavy for shipping. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, the $10 day seems to not have a ton of things I would pick up for $10. Bag of diapers. A shoe. Smith and Hawken. It is. We cannot get this right now, but we can look at it. Ooh, cute. You can hold, you can carry it around, okay? Alright, so I did find a table that's like $3 an item. And I'm thinking some of these things might be great for giveaways. If I can find things. Hmm, I'll, I'll take a look. But there's jewelry, there's hair things, there's sunglasses, more hair things over here, beauty products. So Christine found the $1 section, which I didn't know they had. And I have a whole handful of stuff actually go back for giveaways. To Christine actually did pretty good um, with her clothes. I don't know anything about this brand. Tabitha Brown, collaboration with Target. Swimsuit, super trendy, I think. One so piece. new with tags, and it turns out that the clothes actually start at $5 and then go down per day. That's something I did not know. And then they have different tables with bins. So I picked these up for giveaways, and my favorite of all is Thanks for always liking my posts. So this is to my subscribers and my likers. I got a ton of these for the giveaways. Thanks for liking my posts. I also picked up professional um, per my last email sender. That was really funny. There is, this one is my favorite. It says, sorry, I rolled my eyes out loud again. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, anyways, these are some mugs that I picked up. I got formula for five dollars you guys And then I got some perfume and makeup and then some stuff for the girls. So these brain quests uh, For three dollars each for the girls. All right, you guys we are at the Goodwill bins now We dropped off on Elise at home. She's gonna make things with daddy Christine has been having bins withdrawals, so she's here with me to go bin shopping. Right now it is 2.22. We are going to um, try to get in and out as quickly as possible. Christine likes to shop. I like to get in and out. So we'll see how long we'll be in there for. So let's head into the bins. So as always, I am going to be hitting the purse section first because I am looking for belts, of course. My favorite thing from this section Michael Kors shoes not in too bad of shape I'll, I'll check these out they're cute little kitten heel put those in there so this is like the area where people throw back stuff that they're not gonna get so I find a lot of shoes here wallets 
This looks like B. Mikowski, is it? Um, no, it's not. There's a belt that is not leather. Here's a leather belt. Let's see. Nope, man-made materials. Those um, crumble and do not store well. This is a vintage belt that is cracked. So we're here on a Sunday. So these have been kind of picked through a bit. Oh, look at this Lucite handle purse. This definitely looks vintage. And I'm seeing some pink lining. Oh, yes. Look at this fabulous vintage purse. Yes, we're going to get this. This is exciting. I love these Lucite handle faux amber colored purses. Right? What is this? Michigan up north feels like faux leather. What are these? Are these chaps? What? There's chaps. These are probably worth something. Let's see. Hide out leather, Arlington, New Jersey. Let's take a look at the bottom. All right, I'm gonna throw these, eh, there's some wear right here. I'm gonna throw these in the cart. I'm gonna see if these are worth anything. Don't really sell this kind of thing, but if it's worth enough money, I would sell it for sure. Let's see. This one, Columbia khaki. I'll grab this one. I didn't find a ton in the belts and purses. I did find a couple of belts that need to be cleaned up. This looks like a longer burger purse, but it has like these weird knobs on it, so it might just be a decoration. It is signed. Reed and Wood 19, 2019. Um, I'm gonna look this up because I've sold a longer burger purse before and it sold for a decent amount of money. I just wanna know what this is, to be honest. Uh, yeah, so let's look for some shoes. Okay, so here's what I found for the shoes so far. These are some Jessica Sim Simpson strappy heels. For some reason, Jessica Simpson does sell for me. And I think I'm going to grab these. They are size 7. I did find these Minnetonkas with peace sign. The bottoms are in really great shape. A lot of times there can be drag right here. And right here but these are in great condition grab those these are e spirit footwear which are vintage shoes but look at it. they're like kind of chunky modern looking they're suede upper so i'm thinking i'm going to be putting these up on etsy might do well there i'm looking for this other clark's boot as suede up above and then leather down below so we're going to look in these bins a lot of shoes that are in really poor condition here so kind of gonna take what we can get <laughs> um, yeah really poor condition here's the brand soft yellow this could have been great for my yellow challenge and you know this is a brand I like to pick up so we'll grab those Let's see what else Um, candies. Look at these Converse shoes. They're missing laces. Alright. What are these? These look really nice. Vintage foundry. But look at these soles. I don't know. But I thought that that might be Nine West or something, but is this faux leather? Let's see what it says. Vintage says leather upper. I don't know. It doesn't feel like really nice leather though. All right, I'm gonna look these up because the soles just look really nice. Hmm. I'll look th these up. Um, what else? There we 
are you? BCBG generation, like a camel color, which is not too bad because um, I don't see this color too often in boots. So I might grab these. Let's see if I can find the other one. Oh, there's a ding, tiny ding. Let's see if I can grab the other one. It is boot season. So here's a Clark's shoe. Yes, they did have to tell me to move because I was in the way of them um, pulling out new bins. Here's the other boot. So we'll throw that in. I tried looking up. Oh, here comes another row of bins. Okay, so we are at the last bin. I did pick up some more shoes to show you. Here's by the brand Samuel Hubbard, which is usually a brand I like to pick up. This is a little bit more worn than I like. But if something has a Vibram sole, be sure to check it out because that usually denotes higher quality. These are made in Portugal. Just the wear is a little bit too much. Um, yeah. Let's see. What are these? Nine West. These, I believe I have these um, like sock heels by the brand Cucko. I have these kind in my store in cream colored and they are not selling. They're really cute. These are Lucky brand and they are a little bit more worn than I would like. Let's see, some Echo shoes. These I might grab. Uh, wondering if these can clean. Nope, no, no. See that right there? That is too much heel drag. These are Corso Como, and a lot of times leather shoes like this will discolor from moisture. These have some things, so I'm not going to pick these up, but I did pick up some Corso Como. Uh, these are some Stuart Weitzman vintage kitten heel shoes. I'm not going to grab those. If you find Stuart Weitzman boots, however, those are really great. Charles David. Hmm. Let's see what these are. Alright. I'll show you what I found. These are just some Sam Edelman suede ankle booties. Um, these are some really cute Steve Madden espadrille platform sandals. More Steve Madden. I've been trying to pick that up since McThriftsy. Mackenzie on McThriftsy's channel has told me to pick up Steve Madden. They sell well. Corso Como. These are the platforms and they are really cute. White. This is a size 9. This is a brand I like to sell. Um, let's see. These are by the brand Wonders. I've sold this brand once before. It wasn't a fast seller, but these are really nice quality boots. You can see that they're leather lined and they are made in Spain. So I'm gonna put that in my title, made in Spain. I did not find this other Clark's boot. So I'm gonna throw that one back. And then I still have to look these up. The comps weren't too awesome. The lining is not that awesome either. So I might throw these back as well. I throw those boots back and I was looking this up. Um, large peg basket. And when I looked up this brand, Reed and Wood, um, I looked at their Facebook page and it is actually a husband and wife team up North Wisconsin who makes these and sell the, sells these, so I'm like gonna get it. I actually found this exact basket, um, see, like it was in their little vignette on their Facebook page. I'll put up a picture. Uh, I'm gonna get this for my mom's cabin up north. Just, I can't, I can't leave someone's art <laughs> like that, especially when it could uh, go in my mom's cabin up north. That would be really cute. Okay, so it is now 2.53. We've been here for 30 minutes. That's about how long I like to be here. Um, and Christine is still shopping. She's lost somewhere. Let's see if I can spot her. Hmm. No, I cannot. Okay, I finally found her. Whoa, we are very zoomed in. She is very focused over there. <laughs> 
like really way across. So the reason we're not shopping together is because I do hard, or I do not do hard goods. I do shoes and such, and she does clothes. So yeah, clothes are not my thing. I do not like how long it takes to list and measure and things like that. So I'm hoping that there's gonna be belts and shoes and hats in these bins here. Look at how cute this little bed is. Look at how cute this little bit is. It's a bummer that it is missing its legs right there and right there. So we are not gonna take it, but that is so cute. I found one Clark shoe. This I would definitely sell. It's a patent leather side zip, heel shoe, good condition. I'm gonna get this little itsy bitsy Listen, Doug, um, crinkle book for baby Gideon. You just throw them in the wash and they're good. That is super cute. Now these two hats, whoop, these two hats are like ethnic hats. I'm not sure what ethnicity, handmade. So I'm gonna look into these. I just, I really like finding handmade stuff. So these are hand stitched with little lace embroidery. So super cool. I'm thinking these are men's hats. I'm not sure though about them. I might just get them just so I can ask you guys what they are, honestly. They're really cool. I like them. So Christine found some Madewell. World market scarf. Oh. I do have a world market scarf for sale. That looks like new without tags. I love world market. I used to go there when I was in high school and because uh, um, France and Paris was like everything to me and then I went there when I turned 24 and I actually liked England a lot better. Oh. Well as I pick up brand new takes. Yes. Baby, so. Right? Exactly. So we are waiting for the new bins to roll out here. They're going to take those over there, roll them out and then bring more. So here are the shoes that I picked up. I still have to look these up, these chaps. So oh. yeah. Wow. Fabulous. Is that supposed to be on here? Yeah. Oh no, it's a hair oh, clip. It's a hair. <laughs> wow. It's fabulous. So I picked out a bunch of clothes for the kids. That's about it. Like dress up stuff, um, coat, Columbia. Yeah. Did I, did you hear when I said that I'm like I got over Paris once I went there. You went there? Yeah. Where did you go there? When I was 24. You remember oh. from the honeymoon? Remember? Oh. <laughs> uh, if you know, you know. What? So when I look in the, the clothes, clothing bins, um, I mostly look for clothes for our family or scarves. Here's a Tahari coat. I actually think this is super cute. Cause look at the buttons, right? Is this like a cape coat? Make sure that I'm not in the way for anybody. Yeah, if I could find a lot of vintage silk scarves, I would love that. There was actually one of the times that I was in the bins looking for clothes. It was one of the first times I ever was at the bins. I found a bin just full of vintage scarves and I thought oh, I'll just pick them up because they're like what two cents at the time because <laughs> they're so lightweight well when I got home they're all Ralph Lauren um, and a lot of like Echo and um, Laura Ashley and Vera and yeah so there was like a ton so I probably paid like a dollar for like I don't know 15 of them and they all sold really fast so that's what kind of got me into scarf reselling in the first place and since then i have not had much luck finding vintage silk scarves yes we need to get this book as a teacher i have a ton of these like big big books Ooh, black bean corn stuff this is like perfect for kids to do their own recipe wow i love it so a dollar for books here Gap coat. Christine's just looking through the books. All right, 
so that was our day. We had a lot of fun getting giveaway items for whatnot and future YouTube videos. And I do feel like I got some good things at the Goodwill Outlet, aka the Goodwill Bins. And yeah, it definitely is nice to get yourself a thrifting buddy. That is always fun. Um, and not just be by yourself all the time. So yeah, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And make sure to thrift and live generously. Thanks. Have a great week. Bye.